hello and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be showing you a quick tip on how to align um, icons on images right so let's assume you are building an e-commerce app or any um, app that deals with products where you have icons on images something like what we have over here right um, one way you could do that is to use the stack widget so you may have the image in a stack and then the icon also in the stack but below the image and then you position the icon to the right location right that's another way you can do it but then i'm going to show you a simpler way you can do that without needing the stack widget and any sort of positioning so uh, in the code here the code representing this section of the ui is just this container over here and i'm not using stack to achieve this kind of alignment also i can change the um, alignment so that you know that i can move this around so let's assume i want to go to the top left and then the buttons move to the top left without using a stack and it is much easier right so how i did that was simply by using a container right so instead of using a stack where i'll put the image first and then the icon button and then position the icon button i used an image and then give it a fixed height the reason why i gave it this fixed height is because in my card i just want the image to occupy from um, a certain fixed height it may be different um, based on what you are building and then i gave it a width so i also wanted the um the container which is going to house our image to fill the whole card so if you look up here i just have a card and then i have um my container right and then i'm giving the weight to 100 percent which is double dot infinity over here now in order to put the image there i use the image property in the decoration of the container so it's more like when you are setting a background image if you are used to any sort of web development yeah so that's how it's, it works so in the decoration property we have an image property that we can set to a decoration image right which takes in um, another image property and then we pass an image provider which is asset image and then i'm targeting a tractor image from my assets so this portion of the code just gives us the image without the uh, without the icon button so if i comment out the child part I realize that our icon button disappears and this is what we had to do to get our image right now in order to get our child position that way all that i did was using the icon button and i'm using the failed version of the icon button which we've got added in the latest release of flutter also from the style i'm just um making sure that it's smaller so if i comment this out I like that the icon button becomes big so i'll comment it out again and then we have a smaller icon button and i have an icon so i use to make it smaller and then the icon so when you do something like this you are going to have um, the icon button filling out the whole card or the whole container right so if i comment out the alignment right now realize that the icon button is filling out the whole card now all that you have to do is to use the alignment property to align the child um, at wherever you want it to be so whether to be at the bottom right right you can put it at the bottom right or the top right you can put it just using the alignment property or you can even um, get precise alignment by using just the alignment itself and passing x and y values but mostly uh, you'll be using this um, top right top left or less specific cases right so it's much easier to do it that way without needing a stack and then uh, position and finding the left and right values that work right so just having a container um, setting your image as the background of the container is the decoration image and then setting a child right which is whatever you want to put on top then you can use the alignment property in the container to align your child wherever you want it to be which is easier than using a stack in my opinion thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one